Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be, according to the title as you can see, this is an update video of my previous tutorial on changing the sensitivity of Xbox One controllers or Xbox 360 controllers, whichever one you see fit as using for the PC of Smite. There has been a lot of confusion with um, the previous tutorial. Um, I wasn't very clear and cut dry on the details of the previous tutorial and here is the updated version as to where I can show you everything you, you need to do. This will obviously not tell you how to connect your Xbox controller to the PC and use it. This is only for changing the sensitivity of the Xbox controller on Smite PC. Let's get on to it. So first, for Steam downloaded Smite players. This is for players who download Smite via Steam. Okay, I didn't say this last, the last tutorial, the previous tutorial from before, that um, how, how to actually access the input file uh, via Steam, which is I'm gonna do now. And you have to go to File Explorer, go to local disk, your main disk which has like all the program files and stuff go to program files x86 high-res studios high-res games my bad my bad <laughs> okay cut 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 that cut that cut that okay after going to local disk your main drive you need to have program files 86 go down to steam actually go to down to steam apps Go to Common, go to Smite, you'll see your game, Smite, and you'll see Battle Game, and Config, voila, default input. Now, this is for people who downloaded Smite externally, not people who went to Steam and downloaded the actual game, that's for people who actually downloaded from the actual web website. Okay, so now you have to go to File Explorer, go to Local Disk. C drive, whatever it is, I don't know which one's yours, but it's the file that has like program files, um, parentheses x86. You need that. Um, you need to go there. You go to Hyrus Studios. You go to Hyrus Games. Smite is the folder you need, and it doesn't matter if you have Palins or whatever other games that you have for Hyrus. You go to Battle Game, Config, and default input will be right here. Now for the next part. This will be the same thing as for externally downloading Smite via website and Steam. So this will work for every player who, um, who has Smite PC. What you need to do is drag default input out of the folder for a little bit. So yeah, you need to drag it out of the folder and onto your desktop. And now you can open it. Now, maximize this and go all the way down to Xbox controller movement. As you can see, I changed both these already. I, I think I did, it was just like 1.0 and 0.8. Okay, that's pretty slow. Okay, what I did was 1.8. I added in Y1, um, in increments of 1, and I just tested it out. Um, actually, I should just add this 0.5 on each one because it's almost to the same sensitivity I have as um, when I'm playing keyboard and mouse. So yeah, do you, you need to change these two over here. Test with those, um, see uh, which settings or what numbers, what, uh, what amounts are actually perfect for you to match, to match you know, the sensitivity you want in game. And after you finish that, you click save. Okay, now you just click save, exit out. Now you wanna drag it back in, okay? I don't know why I didn't say this, um, in the previous um, tutorial, but you need to drag it back in. Some people actually had to correct me for not saying to put it back in to the file. So yeah, you're done with that. And once you open Smite up, it should change. It should change the sensitivity of the actual Xbox controller. And uh, you again, you can just test out which one will fit you the most, which one is going to be more comfortable for you. I actually had to dig back and research a little bit more because I was, I don't know, I don't know what I did from back then. I guess I was just 
too dumb and not not informed enough to know all the mistakes that I did and all those details I left out. And after you confirm these settings, it should actually apply to the game. The sensitivity should change depending on how much you changed in intervals and increments. And it should not change back after you close the game. It should only possibly because there's a small chance they're actually gonna change it back to default if they update the game so if you update your game or um high-res sends out the new smite update you're gonna need to ch double check again if they change the sensitivity back to default and if they did you can just you can go back to the file and change it back to the settings that you wanted so yeah hope you guys like this quick and clean tutorial um hope this was more informative than the previous tutorial so yeah this is the new tutorial for xbox sensitivity um for a smite pc and if you did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe to my channel encouraging me to make more videos for you guys thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next one